Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. What are you doing on this Friday? Oh, it is it's getting to be spring in Arizona. So I, I'll be wearing my last of my long sleeve shirts for a while. So today's not bad, right? Because I thought, well, I'll put it on and then I'll have to turn the air on. But no, it's, I just feel good. I'm just like that perfect temperature, right? So welcome to my channel. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So I'm so glad that you're here and I love our little conversations on the side. So if you're watching the live, it'll show like this red live in the corner and at least it does on my phone. Hmm, maybe it doesn't show live i don't know but anyways i'm live right now so i love our little chats on this side and if you um have a question ever that's where you want to put them and i'll try to catch them um candy and don and lily and teresa are here and i love our friendships that we've been um making right so if you are new to my channel make sure you let me know where you're um coming from and i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and click the dinger bell and then it will let you know when i go um live or upload i usually upload um fast videos on saturday um and they're usually just one from the week before and i just edit it and put it to some fun music and it and it's always fun um <clears throat> to tap your toe to as you watch it so um, I'm going to do some cute little um, mini jam jar project today. And because sometimes we forget about the main catalog. We get so excited with the mini <clears throat> that we forget. So the jam jars are in the main catalog. I'm also going to use um, a stamp set that's in the main catalog. But I'm also going to be using one from the mini as well. So I'm just going to kind of combine them. I also want to remind you that today is the last day to sign up for my Catch You Later class. So I'm going to show that. I also announced on my blog and as well as my emails. If you don't um, read my blog or get my emails, make sure that you um, sign up for those. But I announced I have um, Stamp Club starting in May and because that's when the new catalog starts so if you do not have the demonstrator and um you need a catalog make sure you let me know you can pre-order one they're like 450 and that includes the catalog or if you place an order um of at least 50 before tax and shipping in the last six months and it's very easy to do that you'll automatically um, get one of those. So just holler at me. I've had a few people um, email me like, do I get one? And I'm like, yeah, because you're in club. You know, like there's different ways, right? Um, if you are in stamp club, paper pumpkin. If you have done a class, you know, there's different places that I, I, I grab the people from. But um, if you aren't sure, just holler at me, okay? All right, so hey, Deborah and Dawn and Joanne's here. So see, Joanne is in club. So she gets a catalog. All right, so um, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad to see everybody. So let me turn the phone and we will get started. All right, so let's see. Let me get up high enough here that you can see what I'm doing. All right, how does that look? Does that look pretty good? Oh, I almost missed my chair. That's not good. All right, we put silent, more quieter, wheels on so i didn't hear that it had scooted back that would have been embarrassing all right so let's see let me go over this really quick so just what i was saying stamp club if you join a stamp club then um i send you your catalog and like i said it will start in may um now obviously if six people join up today you know we can start in april but um but May is when the new catalog starts. So I have, I put both of those things out the other day. So holler at me if you have any question at all. Stamp Club is fun. It's just 25 before tax and shipping each month for at least six months. Um, if more people join then um, sometimes we have more than six months. So it just depends. And you get your stuff and you get to be hostess as well. All right, so this is the class I'm talking about. This is the class in the mail. And it is, so let me show you. So it's um, 75, and that's in the USA only. If you are a member of my team, they can get the guts for just 25. All right, so it's catch you later. And I, I showed these quick 
the other day. So it's the Catchy Later stamp set. You also get the Elegant Faceted Gems, the three blending brushes, and hey, Rhonda, and um, the basic pattern decorative masks. I hope I haven't missed any questions. Oh my gosh. All right, if I do and it scrolls up, make sure you ask again. All right, so basic pattern um, decorative masks. Now, if you have any of these things, you can switch them out, no big deal. And that just will come with your class instead. And like I said, it's 75 and that includes um, all that stuff, the priority postage, the PDF, the video. And these are the projects that you'll be making. All right, so you have the cute little diorama right here with the monkeys and you can see them swinging in there. So it's like a 3D card. So you can see it down inside there. My video is just a little delayed, so I wanna make sure that, um, that you're seeing. So that's why I'm taking my time here. All right, so super cute. So that's one of the make and takes. Then you have the cute one with the kitties. And here's the inside. And then this is popped. So it's popped at an angle. So that bowl, that fish bowl, actually it's kind of hard to see, but the, the fish bowl actually like <coughs> sticks out like a rounded fish bowl. So that's super cute. That's number two. Here's the third one. Oh, my sister's here. Now, if you have a question I missed, my sister joined us and she has that little wrench by her name. So hopefully she'll, um, isn't it nice sister? I just put you to work. So, and good morning, Britton. So here's another one. Oh, I just love this set. So here's this one here. That was number three. And then you'll do this fun card with the quail. I love the quail. And you can see how we've used the sponges here and there, or the masks here and there. So we used it here on here. We sponged to put the circles on here. Here we've sponged with the blending brushes and the masks. So it almost is like um, wallpaper or something back there. And here we use the masks behind the monkeys and that's the trees that they are swinging on. All right, so those are the four cards. And then this is the cute little kitty 3D. So this is actually, um, like little post-its. So like, look right here, right? And the kitties are all like, there's an assortment of kitties. And I just put like perfect from the set. It's a cute little box, but they are little, um, so see the kitties sticking out there? So they're perfect little tags to put in your, in your catalog. So that's what that one is. So it's a fun little box. All right, so those are the projects. So like I said, today is the last day for that class. And I sold out last month and I'm like, oh, so I ordered a couple extra so we didn't run out. So I just have a few left. So that's why I thought, well, I'm going to mention that again today in case there's somebody that didn't know that. So, oh, snowy Ontario. Oh, no. Oh, no. But except you get that beautiful green grass because of all that snow. All right. So these are the projects or these are the um things that I'm that I'm going to be using today. So Daffodil Dream, Dream, I'm going to use the greeting out of there um, because I want to do something Easter. I know Easter is a little ways away, but um, it's important to get um, thinking about little gifts. And I also am choosing Wildly Adorable because look at this little guy with his little Easter outfit on, his little bunny outfit. And I thought, oh my gosh, he will make the cutest little Easter bunny card. And then I'm using the suit and tie die, the garden die, the layering circles die, as well as a tasteful labels die. I wish you lived here, sister, cause then you could take the class. All right, so let's see here. So let's get started. So yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Jeff has to work on the weekend. They're they're making them work. So last week he couldn't he couldn't work because he lost a cap on his tooth. Remember I was telling you about that. All right. 
So let's stamp a few of these up. All right, so we are going to do the cute little baby with his Easter outfit on. And I'm just gonna stamp with the memento because I am going to be coloring with the blends. So we'll put him on there and let him dry really good. And then I'm gonna use Highland Heather. Oh, sister, wouldn't we would get into so much trouble. All right, I'm gonna use Highland Heather for my Easter blessings greeting. All right. Easy, easy, easy. All right, let's see what else I need. Okay, I have a bunch of blends. And this is just, um, this is one of our, our blocks, right? That we put our stamps on. And this is just a, which number is this? D block. You can use whatever size you want. But I've had this for years this way. And I just typed shadow block on the computer and then I just printed it and then I just um, glued it to the back of the block because then you can see your colors through it. Because what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my, let's see, my dark gray granite and I want to, when I'm coloring this little guy, I want his belly area, this belly right here, I want that to be white. I want that to be white. But if I just go like light gray, it's just a little bit too much, right? Because I want it to be kind of be soft. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, dark gray granite, and this is why I put that piece of paper behind there. And I'm just gonna scribble this on here. It's not as obvious. I mean, it's hard to see on the computer, but you can see where your colors were you know, because that white is back there. If I'd have just left it clear, it would be hard to see. So that's, and then I just always know this is the block that I use to do that. All right, and then I'm gonna take my color lifter and then I have one that is, so I have marked it. So see that? I have marked this shadow, shadow color lifter and I just put like pink on it. So this is the one that I, I kind of use it like a blender pen, okay? Remember we have we have the blender pens that you can move color back and forth from different things. So I'm basically using the color lifter as like a paintbrush. All right, so I'm gonna take my color lifter and I'm gonna pick up that dark gray and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna paint it on my little guy. And it's gonna be a little bit softer than if I um, used the um, pen direct. If I just did the marker direct, it would be darker. And then it's just gonna dry. So it doesn't take very much, right? It doesn't take much at all. So now this is kind of like a, a gray, but it's, it's white, right? It's like a white color. All right, so then we can start coloring our little guy. And I'm gonna do my light flirty for his little cheeks. We always gotta put that healthy glow on our little critters and our babies. All right, so light flirty. And then I want dark petal and light petal. Now, do you want me to scoot down or is that a good height? Is that a good height? Please let me know. It looks good when I look at the bigger screen. So, all right, so this is dark petal. And I'm just going around the edges and I'm going into the cheek. So it's gonna put like kind of that skin tone color. Let's see. I'm gonna put that skin tone color, but soften that pink up a little bit. Oh, good height? Okay, all right. Cause it looks good on the TV. I have the TV on so I can watch as well. Um, Cause sometimes the TV gives me a little better idea than my computer. All right, so this is the light petal. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just going around in his cute little face. The light petal, just to fill his face in. 
And now he's got this cute little baby healthy glow. All right. I'm going to take dark flirty. Now I don't use dark flirty. Oh, oh, if I do anything special. Oh, too high. All right. Hold on. I just don't want to touch the phone by mistake. All right. Remember what I did the other day. All right. Because sometimes if I'm too close, then it just focuses on my hand. And then you can't see anything. All right, so this is dark flirty. This is dark flirty. Just to add a little bit of a dark pink. So this is the light flirty. I just want his cute little paws um, to be pink. All right. Then his hair is going to be, so these are the new tonals. So I'm going to give him some brown hair. Cute little bubba boy. All right. So I've got, what number was that? 400 and 300. Now remember this, the smaller the number, the darker the color. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. All right, then we also want to color our cute little outfit. All right, so I'm going to pick my dark Highland Tether. And I just want to put some dark here and there. Just in areas. Because I'm going to use Fresh Freesia. So I'm putting my dark first. So that my Fresh Freesia can... um. Oh, thanks, Francis. Sorry about that. I was too high up. Um, so I can kind of soften it a little bit. So I'm just putting the dark Highland Tether. So it would be in here. And around the edge here. And also on his little foot. Just around the edges. So when you look at the stamp, it kind of tells you where that would be dark, right? Like he's got these little lines where the fold of his shirt is. So then you would know that that would be a little darker there. All right. So that looks pretty good. So again, this was dark Highland Tether. All right. All right, then I'm going to take my, I want freesia. All right, so I'm going to go light, fresh freesia and color the rest in. And then we'll do the dark freesia after. So this is just going to soften that a little bit. I love the blends because you can just mix and match. And if you don't like something, you know, just add a little bit more. All right, so I'm just coloring this in. Now I'm gonna use some DSP as well. And at first I was like, oh, I was gonna cut his ears out and have them be a pattern of the DSP that I'm using. And then I didn't care for it. So then I just left him all the way colored in. But it is cute. I've had done a few things with this set where I stamped it the DSP and then cut it all out so that it was like a pattern. So they had like clothes on basically. And I love to do that. That's called paper piecing. But today I'm just coloring. All right, so this is light fresh freezer. And then I'll do dark fresh freezer. So it almost looks um, spotted, right? Like a purple giraffe. All right, and now dark fresh freesia. Hey, Marcy. Okay. So sometimes I need to be up higher and sometimes I don't. All right, so this is just a dark fresh freesia. So I like to use these together. And that's just going to soften it a little bit. And some of the markers, like... Some of them go really well together, and then some are quite different. So the dark and the light fresh freesia can almost be used separately. 
So a little bit different tones, I think. All right, so I'm just going around a little bit just to get some of those lines away. All right. And it's going to soften up as it dries. Let's see. Let's see. Where's my light Highland Tether? Here we go. I'm going to put a little light Highland Tether here too. I just love the purples. I don't think I have anything purple in my house, but I do like purple. My girlfriend, Melissa, she's got a purple wall, which is super cool. So... And my sister, I don't know if she, you still do your purple Christmas tree. All right, that's good. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Because as it dries, it will, um, the colors will change, right? As it dries. All right, so I'm going to take my gel pen, my little white gel pen, and put a couple cute little freckles on his face. And some lines here and there. You know me, I like to put little dots of stuff. And then you can see, like that belly has got some, hang on a minute. Let me put a little button color. Ugh, take the lid off, heavens to Betsy. All right, I'm gonna color the little button in. There you go. So let me show you, I'll put that up so you can see a little better. Oh, Joanne, purple is your favorite color. So there he is. So you can see, um, you know, that this is not plain, right? It's not like I just left it white. So it's got just a little shade of gray, very, very light gray. But then that just visually is a white belly. All right. So we're going to cut this out. Now, ahead of time, I punched out. So here's the cute DSP. Now these are the six by six packs of DSP that's in the main catalog. And they're like color families. So this is from the Subtles. So let me get my little, my little boy. So while I'm gabbing, I can be cutting. So that's where this came from. And then this came from the Tasteful Labels. And I loved that um, stitched edge on there. So I just die cut out my Easter blessings. And so that's going to go on there. This is the grass that came from the garden die. So that's where these two pieces came from. And I just did those in Granny Apple. Because that's such a pretty spring color. And it has Granny in the name. And then this is from this the um, suit and tie. So I was going through my... Um, my little piece of paper that has all of the dies. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna use the eggs that came with the bird, there's a bird die. And I didn't get that. I was like, oh my gosh. So that's why even if you don't get the stamp set, just get the dies. And I didn't even listen to my own <clears throat> tip. Like when I always say that, when I always say, even if you don't get the stamp set, get the die. And obviously I didn't listen to my own advice. But they had ovals in the suit and tie because I just wanted a couple little eggs is what I wanted. So they are, they end up working really cute. So it worked out after all. All right, so now I'm just going to fussy cut out our cute little baby. And what made me want to do this was I had my shipped shopper. I said, is there any Easter candy? And he said, Easter has been out before Valentine's. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I said, can you grab me some Easter candy? Especially the lint chocolate, because I love lint chocolate. And he did. So I have some more different stuff that I have to make over the next few weeks with other candy. But I was like, oh, I had to try these what I'm gonna to use today because they were calling my name and they were new, they're like a brand new candy. And that was what made me choose the colors that I choose chose today, which was the Highland Tether. 
All right. This would be great for like a baby, little baby gift too, right? But I'm making it be Easter. All right, so we have our cute little jam jars. Um, oh, I, I wasn't kiting. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Brenda. You were in Santan Valley? Do I sharpen my little scissors? No, I'm so bad. When they get really dull, I just buy a new pair and then I have them all over the house and then some get used um, to cut plants, you know, in the garden. So they're just 10 bucks. So I just buy, buy a new pair. Isn't that bad? All right. Um, so anyway, so these are the cute little jam jars. This was the new candy. And it's blueberries and cream. And, oh, now usually I keep these balls in the fridge. But for this, I don't, I didn't. But usually I keep them in the fridge because I like when the inside, it's got that, um, it's kind of, it's not a jelly, but, you know, it's kind of a liquidy stuff. I like when it's hard instead of um, loose. So anyway, so I usually keep them in the fridge. So the little jam jar holds two. I don't think I would try to crunch any more than two in there because um, you don't want to break them, right? I mean, you want to keep them pretty. And two is good. I mean, two is good for a little gift. And really, when you give things like this, it's all in the decoration, <laughs> not what you're putting in it. All right, so let me get this going here. So we have our cute little Easter blessings. And I'm going to put my little eggs on there. And I just, like I said, I die cut them out of the same DSP that's going to go on the top. All right, where's my glue dots? So it's fun to, um, to decorate fun things. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a bunch of these up. And hand out, right? I mean, you don't want to mail chocolate in Arizona. It isn't gonna make it. All right, so I'm gonna put my little egg. Just kind of avoid getting it on the writing. But the next time the ship guy comes, I could put one out. I would just have to make sure that it's not too hot or not sitting in the sun. All right, so there's my two little eggs. And then I'm gonna use my green tip glue and put the grass on. Now, if you wanted, I could have um, punched these out on the adhesive sheets and then I wouldn't have to use the green tip glue. But I am just using my green tip glue. And then the grass will have a little bit more free form to it. So I'm just sticking that on there. So now the little egg is in the grass. And see what I mean? The grass is away from the eggs. If I'd have used the adhesive sheets, it would have stuck, you know, all the way down. So this way it gives it a little bit more dimension. So again, this was from the garden die. I'm trying to think if that's one that's on sale. You know, we have a bunch of dies on sale. Let me see. Let's see, let me glue that on first so my glue doesn't dry. I'm putting that, I'm putting that grass in front of that grass. So visually it's in front, right? Because it's it's lower. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is a garden on? Uh, I don't think so because I think this is just main catalog dies. Yeah, so I need to play with a few things here. Now remember the Celebrate Sunflower. Now that is, and I did this, the sunflowers on my magnet board, but they're attached, so I can't. I can't bring them over to show you. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna put this on here. There is my glue. And I may or may not have eaten a few of those purple. All right, so I'm just putting my seal on there. And then this is just gonna go right in the center. Right there. And this is just from the circle die. I love the little scallop edge around it. And then this I'm gonna put on with dimensionals. Where are my dimensionals? Here they are. I'm gonna use the dimensionals that came with my robot kit. 
because nothing gets wasted in our house. Don't waste anything, except that one doesn't want to peel. Good golly. There we go. Good golly, Miss Molly. Now, the time's going to change on Sunday, right? But, so keep in mind, Arizona does not change their clocks. So when I say 3 o'clock Arizona time, because that's when I do, do my lives, next week it might be different for you. It'll still be 3 o'clock for me. But you might be catching me an hour. I don't know if it's going forward or back. It's going to be an hour different. All right, so that's going to go in there. Look how cute that is. Super cute. And then we're going to put our little baby on the front. So I'm just going to take some glue dots and just put down there. Just kind of down the, the not quite the middle, because I want them to kind of be right off to the side. All right. So I'm going to put my little jar down. And I want this little guy to be sitting. I want him to be sitting right there. So look how cute he is. So here's the one I did earlier that I was looking at. So aren't they cute? So he just sits there and he's guarding the candy because you know, I'm gonna eat more probably than I, than I um, make. So let me see here. So let's see, let's see. So it'll be 6 p.m. Because what is it now, Marcy? All right, so hold on a second. Let me spin. All right, hold on. <laughs> I'm like so scared to touch the phone after. after. So isn't that cute? Don't you think that you could make a few of those? Because oh. I've done so much with the, the jam jars. I've done shaker cards. I've done tea lights. Um, and I thought, well, what happens if I just fill them with candy? So they're just so, so cute. They are plastic. So if they're not, you're not gonna can with them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they're perfect. They're, they're, they're so, so cute. Um, hey, Pat from Alabama. Oh, so it, it, we're going forward. Well, you guys are going forward. So be it three hours. Um, Oh, the M&M speckled eggs in the jar. Ooh, they also be cute too. Yeah, it was just that my shift guy grabbed me these because I because I, I said, can you find lint? Um, and then that's what he went for, right? Went for the lint. If I was shopping, um, then I probably would have grabbed a whole bunch of different candies. I have like fake little speckled eggs that would be cute, you know, just um. So I might do that just for my display because like if I put any on display, because I wouldn't want those chocolates just sitting there, right? So I might um, put the little fake ones in there. So I'm glad that you like that. So anyways, but so make sure you look through the catalog and maybe use a stamp set because this is definitely not an Easter set. That little wildly adorable. Does it have Easter greeting? Um, well, it does say some bunny loves you. So that that could be, but it, it definitely, you know, to me, when I look at it in the catalog, I think baby, like a baby set. Um, and I grabbed it because they're stinking cute and I love to color. So anyway, so look through your catalog. Think outside of the box and um, pull, get those jam jars out. Show show your main catalog some love. All right, you can get speckled jelly beans too. Oh, but that's what I mean. If I would have been shopping, I would have got different ones, but I didn't want to be too particular with the poor guy. Yeah, can you go over there and measure those candies? Oh. So anyways, all right, so I'm gonna say see you later. Have a great weekend. So I have, cause Easter's not till April, right? So I have um, plenty of time to come up with some more Easter ideas. Um, oh, so you will be on the same time. So right now it's not the same time, Carolyn. Um, 
So anyways, all right. So I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday and three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same channel for my side, but just keep, you know, just kind of watch, right? What's the best thing to do is subscribe to my channel and click the dinger bell and then it will email you and let you know that I'm going live. So then you won't miss it because I hate when people miss it, right? They'll go, oh, I missed the live because I love our little chit chats. And then if you have a question, I can hopefully answer you. All right. Well, I am for the hundredth time. I'm going to say bye. I will see you Monday. Have a great, great weekend, everybody. Thank you so much for spending time with me this week. You fill my heart. You make me feel so good. And um, I just treasure you all. All right. I'll see you Monday. Bye for now.